Most businesses and organizations rely on computers to keep things running smoothly. That's why computer systems analysts are the most valued employees in companies today. Sometimes called system architects, these architects design the computer system that best meets the company needs. This may involve upgrading an existing system or creating a new system from scratch. Analysts need to be very familiar with computer hardware and software. Once the system has been set up, the computer systems engineers run tests and troubleshoot problems. The Advanced Diploma of Computer Systems Engineering, uh, a two-year full-time course, has a number of key areas of study. Uh, we study network administration, network infrastructure, we study server administration, PC hardware and software, and also some programming. This course maps really well to certain industry certifications in networking engineering and security, uh, server administration and client side management. The main units in the course uh, for our students include subjects like um, operating systems, working with Microsoft products, a unit called IT Essentials where students work on PC hardware and software, the Northern Melbourne Institute of TAFE's Computer Systems course offers a balanced curriculum that includes theoretical issues, software development, programming languages and systems design. The main focus throughout the course is to develop new skills, familiarise yourself with current technology and create new technology. One of the great things about the way we, that we deliver the Advanced Diploma of Computer Systems Engineering at NMIT is the large portion of our time spent doing practical activities. Our labs are well equipped and, and whilst we, we certainly believe that theory is important, it's the hands-on and practical approach that gives our students the job readiness to embark on, uh, on, a, on a career path after graduating with us. What students will learn in the Cisco Networking Academy program is opportunities to have real concrete learning experiences hands-on uh, on Cisco Live equipment. The level of hands-on practical tasks gave more confidence that employers could see as they were interviewing. They could see that I did know what I was talking about, that my skills were relevant and that, my, that I had industry certifications which they could rely on. I have lots of hands-on experience um, that it's going to be great once I'm in the workforce. NMIT provides students with a flexible learning environment by offering the course at multiple campuses. The Heidelberg and Greensboro campuses are equipped with the latest technology, teaching students to learn skills in creating effective applications, software, hardware and managing databases. Students work on a variety of equipment in our programs. For example, in the Cisco program, they work on 2800 series routers and 2950 switches. Applications are used such as FTP and uh, DHCP and DNS which uh, provide services to uh, computers on a network. We use virtualization software like VirtualBox to um, play with client-side OS's like Linux and um, Vista and 7. IDEs such as Eclipse and NetBeans in our Java programming areas to packet tracer simulation software supplied by Cisco as part of our Networking Academy program. NMIT's relationship with the Cisco Networking Academy has been going for over 10 years. They're currently one of our leading academies that offer student uh, courses in um, Cisco certification of CCNA and Cisco certification of CCNA security. Teachers in NMIT had a wealth of knowledge. A lot of them had that knowledge because they once were in the industry. So all their information was based on the practical side of the course and also too from their life experience. Not only does NMIT equip students with extensive skills and hands-on training, it also prepares them for important industry certifications like Linux, Cisco and Microsoft. In today's world, the industry vendor certifications are becoming more and more in demand in the market. The Cisco Networking Academy CCNA certification, for example, is one of the leading um, qualifications a system engineer can hold in uh, networking principles. The certifications I currently hold are various Microsoft certifications and various Cisco certifications. 
NMIT was very good in helping us prepare for those examinations. I would certainly recommend to prospective students who are looking for a technical role in the computer systems engineering field to consider a place in the Advanced Diploma of Computer Systems Engineering. We offer the opportunity for good vocational outcomes and a rewarding and exciting career in, in the networking industry. In today's ICT industry, the networking principles that students will learn are so vital for the ICT industry to grow. Therefore, um, having these qualifications um, out there for students to apply themselves to and learn is very, very important for the future of our industry.